In today's video, we're covering our top five ghost movies you might have missed. At number one is What Lies Beneath. What Lies Beneath is a 2000 psychological horror film starring Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford, and directed by Robert Zemeckis. The plot follows Claire Spencer, who begins to experience occurrences in her new lakeside home after her daughter leaves for college. As the jump scares intensify and the line between reality and the supernatural blurs, Claire becomes consumed with fear and paranoia. Desperate for answers, she investigates the history of her house and discovers that a young woman lived there before her mysterious disappearance. This movie is a lesson in how to gloriously build suspense and make effective use of your idyllic yet isolated lake house setting. It's gripping, atmospheric, and delivers on the shocks and twists in all the right places. Fun fact about this one, the screenplay was written by Clark Gregg, who is more commonly known as Agent Coulson from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. With Pfeiffer playing Janet Van Dyne in Ant-Man, and Harrison Ford rocking up in the next Captain America movie, this is one giant Marvel-shaped party. Next up we have The Grudge. The Grudge is a 2004 supernatural horror remake of Due on The Grudge, both directed by Takashi Shimizu and this starring Sarah Michelle Gellar. The plot centres around Karen, an American exchange student living in Tokyo, who volunteers to take care of an elderly woman confined to her house. The house really is the star of the show here. Plain, cold rooms, dark attic, claustrophobic. It's a beautiful location and is very successfully not a house you want to spend any length of time in, which is unfortunate for a number of the characters. The house holds a dark history, a murderous history that consumes the house and all that inhabit it. The story flits between past and present, connecting all those who've been affected by the curse the special effects, makeup, sound, visual are absolutely standout. If you've anything like us, you'll be imitating the sound of the ghost for many days following. The costume would make for a superb Halloween choice as well. The Grudge is chilling, beautifully shot, and a must see for all horror fans. The Woman in Black. The Woman in Black is a 2012 film based on the 1983 horror novel of the same name by Susan Hill. The plot revolves around Arthur Kipps, a young lawyer played by Daniel Radcliffe in his first role since Harry Potter, who travels to a remote English village to settle the affairs of a deceased client. Upon arrival in the village of Griffin Gifford, he soon discovers that the village and the estate, Eel Marsh House, his task with sorting through, are haunted by a very vengeful ghost. Despite warnings from the villagers and his own unnerving encounters, Arthur is determined to fulfil his duty. This is another horror where the house is a character all of its own. It's grim, majestic and completely dominates every scene it appears in. The director, James Watkins, does a lot here with a very simple, sad ghost story. If awards were being handed out for best use of an erratic rocking chair, this is a no-brainer. We're fans of the book, and whilst there are some differences, it does remain faithful to the overall premise. This film is a good old-fashioned ghost story, and quite frankly, what better recommendation could there be? Next on our list is The Changeling, a 1980 horror directed by Peter Medic. The story follows composer John Russell, played by George C. Scott, who moves into a historical mansion in Seattle after the tragic deaths of his wife and daughter. John, much like many a naive horror movie character before and since, hopes that the change of scenery will help him cope with his loss and find solace in his work. As you would expect, our main protagonist starts experiencing strange occurrences throughout the house. As a side, this is the third movie in our list to feature a haunted bathtub. What is it about the bath exactly? Who knows? Intrigued and unsettled by these events, John delves into the history of the mansion, befriending a local historian as part of his investigation. Their search leads them to uncover a ruthless, harrowing injustice. 
The Changeling is a fantastic film that intertwines the horrific past of the haunted mansion with John Russell's present journey confronting his grief. The movie is clearly an influence on some more recent horror movies. Let us know in the comments if you agree. Last but not least is The Fog. Sandwiched between Halloween and The Thing, in 1980, John Carpenter directed The Fog. As horror CVs go, it isn't too shabby. The Fog follows a small coastal town as they become the unwitting target of a centuries-old curse. Carpenter reunites with Jamie Lee Curtis here, who stars as Elizabeth, a hitchhiker passing through the town, clearly with incredibly poor timing. The story behind the fog, horrendous and really well executed, is revealed very early on, but this only adds to the horror that follows. The film is filled with great use of effects, the consuming tension of the fog closing in, its thickness, a simple knock at the door, the superb use of Adrian Barbeau's narrative across the radio waves that connects the people of the town. And to top it off, Carpenter composes an awesome soundtrack, as usual. At its release, The Fog received mixed reviews, which is frankly mind-boggling. Today it stands up as an absolute horror classic, John Carpenter at his peak. Let us know what you think of the list. Have you seen them all? Do you prefer The Ring? Can Daniel Radcliffe ever truly shake Harry Potter? Thanks very much for listening. If you'd like to contact us or check out what we've been up to, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. If you enjoyed the video today, please do like it, subscribe to the channel and ding the bell to receive notifications about new videos. See you in the next one.